Law 26. Keep your hands clean. Judgment. You must seem a paragon of efficiency and civility. Your hands must be never soiled by nasty deeds and mistakes. Maintain such a spotless image by using others as unwitting pawns and screens to disguise your involvement. Keys to power. Occasional mistakes are inevitable. The world is just too unpredictable. People of power, however, are undone, not by their mistakes they make, but by the way they deal with them. Like surgeons, they must cut away the tumour with speed and finality. Finality. It is often wise to choose the most innocent victim um, possible as a sacrificial goat. Such people will not be powerful enough uh, to fight you, and their naive protests indeed may be seen as protesting too much, may be seen in other words as a sign of their guilt. Be careful, however, not to create a martyr. It is important that you, yes, you remain the victim. Yes, the poor leader, indeed the poor leader, betrayed by the incompetence of those around you. If the scapegoat appears too weak and his punishment too cruel, you may find yourself the victim of your own device. Sometimes you should find a more powerful scapegoat, one who will elicit less sympathy in the long run. Indeed, as a leader, you must never dirty your hands with ugly tasks or bloody deeds, anything that will make you look ugly, indeed, or and abusive of your high position. Yet power cannot survive without the constant squashing of enemies. There will always be dirty little tasks that have to be done to keep you in power. What is required is the cat's paw. Someone who does the dirty, dangerous work for you. Similar to the scapegoat, the cat's paw will help preserve you, your spotless reputation. The easiest and most effective way to use the cat's paw often is to plant information with him that he will spread to your primary arm army. False or planted information is a powerful tool, especially if you spread it by a dupe whom no one suspects. You will find it very easy to play the innocent and disguise yourself as a source. In any event, you must always get someone else to be the executioner of the bad news while you bring only joy and glad tidings. Indeed. Tale of the Honey Pot Trap. Getting rid of the cat's paw. Indeed, one finds himself fitted up as a convenient cat's paw. Scapegoat, first of all, for an undesirable group of cutthroats, but only because they got in partly on the action of others from other parts of the world, shall we say. This man is bad. This man is a lowlife. He is a spokesman, an informant, a grass, this, that, as they spread vicious rumours around one man, an innocent bystander who's losing his mother of malignant melanoma. Suddenly, sirens get wind of this, as the sirens are already down this local setting, this colourful scene of colourful gang stars, obviously stars in their own making, the colourful scene. But there is an innocent bystander, but as the sirens get down there, the singing sirens, the false prostitute of lies and slander, as the sirens spread their embodiment down this 
well-known market, the back streets of Notting Hill, around these hierarchical tables and of ill will, of pecking order, a colourful scene, at one man's expense now, the scapegoat cat's paw, but he's already been used as a scapegoat by the underworld of Hadiths. The sirens getting wind of this now play their hand. They use him as the cat's paw. Less risk, the cat's paw. The executioner of ill will doesn't really get a bad blame for this one because it, he's just doing or acting or portraying to be acting or to be betraying to really be doing the dirty work or not the dirty work, to be the agent behind the dirty work indeed. After all, he is the informant, the spokesman of everybody, isn't he? So the sirens get in on the act and use this man, knowing he's being fitted up as the scapegoat whipping boy for the future anxiety of Mr. Big. Uh, so the puppet master has already found this fool to blame, this goat's head. So now the sirens get in on their act and use him as the honeypot trap to attract and magnetize every criminal of Hades, the criminal in the world, when they start whistling at him. When the sirens whistle and everyone else whistles, Hades whistles, everyone in the world hunts him down. This is a hostage effect called the noose, the encirclement noose. The hostage, by holding one man future hostage against the sirens in order to be released to get back to their street activity of criminality, fueled by the cocaine commodity. Let us get back to our street activity. We will hold this agent of yours as our future hostage, whipping boy, Patsy, Aunt Sally. Indeed, they hold this man ransom, but... Now the chief is worried. He doesn't want his hand in it. He doesn't want to take the blame, the rap, the agent behind it. This could be sincere. People might find him and want to hunt down him as the hunted witch. He doesn't want that, does he? Therefore, he has conveniently used others in front of him so no one can see the screen, the veil, no one can see the mask. The screen has been pulled down. Nobody can see this man, this puppet master. Nobody can see him at all. The agent of ill will behind, indeed, the cat's paw. But now they have to find a way, the executioner has to find a way of ill will to get rid of this cat's paw. Otherwise, if the public find out, they will want to hunt down uh, the man behind this, the puppet master, they will want to know who has put this man and set this man up. You have created either a martyr of this man, if he's powerful and aggressive and fights well, strategic. But if he's a weak man and he gets strung up or anything, they're going to come for you, the puppet master, the chief who has set this whole thing up. The public won't like that. There will be a witch hunt. After all, you have fitted up an innocent man. This man is weak, the poor man. But if he's a strategic man, be careful. He doesn't die a martyr, because then other people will rise up for him. Either way, you have to be very, very, very Careful to keep your hands clean. Keep your hands very clean. Don't become the agent of ill will. You don't want to become the witch that is going to be hunted. Indeed, hunted down the innocent goat. The innocent goat's head fitted up for the street activity errors of the, namely, cocaine cartel in order not to take reprisals from, namely, the Caribbean cartel. Obviously, they didn't want to take the blaps, the blame, so they find a stool pigeon to fit up for their street activity mistakes. But then, oh yes, 
the sirens get quickly involved in that one, knowing that a full-scale witch hunt won't take long. But we can get in on the act and draw out every Mr. Big on the street around him as the honeypot trap we're keeping alive for a little bit until he's magnetized the honeypot trap, every criminal in the world. And then we have to find a way to get rid of this guy. Not unless he becomes that powerful himself and takes down the whole of Hades, the criminal population, the underworld, unless that man rises up. But do we want to become the agent, the witch behind it, the one who set the bull rolling, who fitted him up as the cat paw, or the scapegoat? Do we want to become the agents that are going to be hunted in the future? This might look bad. Indeed, it will look bad. One man now hunted down by a mass.